we present editing conditional radiance fields, an approach for synthesizing global and local object edits in novel views. We build on neural radiance fields, which given multiple input views, synthesize high quality novel views of a single complex static scene. As with any other former digital imagery, we may want to make changes to the visual appearance of the novel views. We seek to allow a user to change the color and shape of an object and have those changes appear in novel viewpoints. We address two key challenges in our work. First, how can we effectively propagate a user edit? Specifically, we hope to fill the user's desired region, not to overfill to undesired regions, and to render the edit consistently across novel views. To address this challenge, we learned a rich prior of plausible looking objects by training a single radiance field over several object instances. Our architecture builds on neural radiance fields in two ways. First, we introduce shape and color codes for each instance, allowing a single radiance field to represent multiple object instances. The graph paper introduced a similar concept in their work. We go beyond this concept by introducing an instance-independent shape branch, which learns a generic representation of the object category. We can use our model to render novel views of a particular object by conditioning on an object instance. Such a model is called the conditional radiance field. During editing, we fine tune the parameters of our network to modify the shape and color of an instance. However, editing and rendering are computationally expensive if we optimize the entire network. Our second challenge is to find a minimal set of model parameters to tune that can effectively and efficiently propagate a user edit. To address this challenge, we propose an editing strategy where only a few components of our network need to be modified to effectively execute the user edit. We provide a user interface to enable a user to edit a conditional radiance field. We demonstrate how to edit the color of an instance with our interface. First, we select one of the example views from the right panel. Then we click the edit color button, select the desired color, and scribble on the editing canvas the region to color. Optionally, we may specify parts of the chair to keep unchanged by selecting the background brush and scribbling on the editing canvas. Finally, we execute the edit and the interface updates the example views on the right with the updated model. To remove a local shape from an instance, we first select one of the views from the right panel. Then, we click the Remove Shape button and scribble on the editing canvas the region to remove. Once we are satisfied with the removal, we click the Execute button and the interface updates the example views on the right with the updated model. To transfer color from a target instance, we first select one of the views from the right panel. Then we click the Transfer Color button and several candidate target instances are displayed on the bottom. We choose one of the instances, click the Execute button, and the interface updates the example views on the right, showing the transfer colors. Next, we visualize additional color and shape editing results. Next, we edit the appearance and shape of a real photograph. We first fine tune our conditional radiance field on a single real image. Then, we apply our editing method to conduct local edits to the instance, 
like changing the color of a chair body or removing the legs of a chair. To find out more, please visit our website.